How's it going, everybody? Brian Elvers and Dave Meltzer here, Wrestling Observer Radio, February 28, 2022, figure4online.com slash wrestlingobserver.com. we got a lot of news to get into here today, including a bunch of updates on WrestleMania, not the least of which is a new something or other with Vince McMahon and Pat McAfee. Can't imagine this being anything resembling a grappling match, but they're going to be doing something at WrestleMania. What's the plan? I don't know. They're advertising. They're going. The the it's it's listed as a match on the format for the show. Um, they're you know obviously it's going to be a bunch of smoke and mirrors. They're looking to use Vince's name and Pat McAfee's name to uh, sell some tickets. They got a lot of tickets left to sell. So that's the basic. Is gist this of it. the uh, Steve Austin level character? Was it was a term that was used? Yeah, yeah, as yeah, one yeah, more yeah, big yeah, Surprise yeah. Pro- it was Vince. Probably yeah yeah. So they can't get they can't get Hogan out there. Jeez, Hogan's younger than Vince. Isn't that scary? Yeah, and he's probably a lot more mobile, even with fake hips. I I wouldn't think so, but um, it's hard to say. I haven't seen Vince move around, so I don't know where he's where you know where he's at at these at this stage. Hogan's wasn't, not wasn't moving. It like uh, Hogan's, three... Hogan's Hogan's not moving well these days, though. Wasn't it like three or four years ago that uh, Vince was pretty much told no more matches, no more bumps? Oh, I think longer than that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, I mean, it's uh, you know, look, nobody should be. I don't know that people should be wrestling at sixty. Okay, they shouldn't be wrestling at seventy. Um, I remember when Luthez wrestled at 74. But then again, he tried to do a match, and Vince is not going to attempt to do a match. But he's also Luthez, not Vince McMahon. And I remember he came back from Japan, and he told me, man, what a bad idea this was. I mean, some people will look at that and go, you know, I mean, I guess for 74, he probably did great. But, um, you know, he did do great for 74, but he just said that that was just, you know, he it was like he was just embarrassed to, to have done that. And, um, you know, and he didn't have... Um, I don't know. He didn't. He didn't uh, destroy his body like Vince did in in a lot of different ways. So, um, you know, even though he actually wrestled thousands and thousands of matches, and Vince probably wrestled you know two dozen or something, but still, um, yeah, I don't, I don't. Um, the idea of a guy who's seventy six and a half years old doing a match. Um, I mean, there've been older guys do it. Dory, Dory Funk Jr. and Mel Moskowitz were wrestling older than that, but that's not a, that's not a recommendation for it either. Watching those guys wrestle at that age, um, you know, and and they, you know, were not in as high profile position as this. But uh, you know, I mean, they they got something worked out. They're going to do it. And uh, again, you know, Vince Vince was a big draw in his day. So was Steve Austin. I mean, that's what they're there's. Um, you know, whatever. I mean, uh, New Japan's putting Fujiwara in tomorrow night at 73 years old. So it's not like, uh, but Fujiwara, the one thing with Fujiwara is, is that his style is very grappling based and, um, he can kind of, what he does, you can kind of do it an older age. You know, it's not like Shawn Michaels, what Shawn Michaels did, you know, when he, from when he came back. And because because I had talked to somebody you know from there about Sean coming back because they're bringing everybody back right you know anyone they can, and the thing is with Sean is that like Sean is not nearly as old as these guys but Sean Michaels had a a very very athletic style and it's going to be a lot more difficult for him to come back and and you know replicate what he did than Fujiwara to replicate what he did and for Vince. Um, you know, I mean, Vince never did much, but um, I don't know. You know, that that's pretty old to be. It's way too old to be doing it, but whatever. You know, I mean, they're they're going to do something. They're doing everything they can. They're trying. You no, know, I I said, Dave, the show was going to top out at fifty five, and now well, look at this. We're bringing back Vince, and we're bringing back yeah, Austin. It's, it's, Is it's, Triple it's, H available? Who's next? No, no, no. Triple H would be a terrible idea. Um, the, you know, I mean his. His heart situation is is he he can't you know I I don't want to say never because that's unfair because maybe he, he can do something but uh, that would be a horrible idea for him to and and it's not going to happen this year there's no way but um, they're already I mean they're already topping fifty five I mean they're 
they're probably going to get up to about 70. I don't think they're going to make 80. I, I mean, I don't I don't want to say they're not going to make 80. I don't think they will, though. I think it's going to be a little shy of 80. But, uh, I mean, 70,000 for two straight days, 65,000 maybe, if that's what it ends up at. And it'll beat 65. So 70,000 for, for, for two days is pretty damn impressive. Um, you know, with the ticket prices that they're charging and everything like that. You know, so. God, ticket prices. You know, I... Paul McCartney's coming here in May 6th of the Oakland Arena, and I went to see him a couple years ago, and I think I paid $400. Did you know that for the same ticket, it's going to be like $800 now? It's well, like, you know, he's four years older. I don't think it's been four years, has it? It's, it's been a couple, well, I guess it's been probably been two, three, three years, but um, yeah. No, does that make him a bigger attraction? Well, I don't know, but I mean, every year, every year that he gets older, it's like this could be, you know, how many more years he can be doing this? I'm amazed he's that still guy's, doing that guy's it. He's 90, older than going to be two thousand dollars a ticket. Yeah, and he's he's older than Vince. No, but the thing is, is like you yeah, know, but he's to, singing. He's not out there wrestling. No, but he moves around a lot. I mean, I know he moves around a lot, but he's not taking a bump. He's not, getting, he's not getting head butted and have his head split open. I don't think Vince is going to get a headbutt and get his head split I sure hope either. not, but you put this guy in the ring, who knows, who knows what's going to happen? Well, that is a problem. Is that once he gets out there, you know, it's like nobody can tell him to stop, and then he might do something. He might injure himself. That wouldn't surprise me at all, you know, and him go out there. You know, because it's like, you know, the, you know what gets, I mean, people don't hear about this, but the thing that's, to me, is when it gets sad is like with Hogan, when, when Hogan was coming back at the end, not even at the end. I mean, this is this is going back 20 years, 20 years ago. When Hogan was doing his comebacks, where every time he would do a match, he would end up having surgery after the match. And it's Dude, like, that's what happened to Rock a decade ago. That's why I'm telling you, I don't think he's wrestling next year. He had two think. straight years, and he got hurt both times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tore his hamstring in, in the middle of the match the uh, first year, and then he tore his intercostals and had, I think, an abdominal hernia. hernia. I forgot the exact stuff. This He was all mess. The first year, it was like he was in pain and worked with a torn hamstring for the rest of the match and everything. But the second year, he was messed up. And, yeah, they had to delay Hercules for, for a month. And, uh, you know, because he just wasn't ready. Um, he couldn't be. It's impo- it would have been impossible. So, yeah. I mean, if he's got anything going, it's going to be... That's a tough one to put together for a lot of different reasons. He's got a lot of bigger things on his plate than WrestleMania, obviously. Uh, you know, um, he's going to be getting ready for that... Uh, what are, I think they're starting the um, XFL in April, and WrestleMania is probably <laughs> end of March, early April. So, um, not that he can't do both, but that's going to take up a lot of his time starting that, that new league. So... Yeah, you know, not to mention whatever other stuff. I guess the the um, he should be back in the United States now because um, Young Rock uh, they just finished filming this week um, in Australia. You know, they were there for like five months filming the season, um, the new season of Young Rock. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.